please like this video. Please. I'm begging you. I am begging you. I would put both my hands up, but my other hand is asleep. I think I can do it. This comes from the Fresh and Fit podcast. I don't watch them. I am not subscribed. Every time I see a clip from their platform, I am not impressed. Let me ask you a question. Are men and women equal? Yeah, of course. Yeah. No, we're not at all. We're not. Okay. Uh, uh, men and women are different. You, 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 so why? Are we, yes, we're <laughs> different. Of course, we're different. But you know, were you talking about pay parity? What are you talking about when it comes to being different? Well, the definition of equality is being the same in quantity, size, degree, or value, and nothing between us is equal. We're very different. What I mean by you that, you don't think we are uh, of equal value? Uh, well, here's the thing: from a human's rights perspective, and you, you know the value of your life, yes, we're equal. No one is better than anyone in that regard. But when it comes to biology and intersexual dynamics, we're 100 percent different. And the reason but why that is true is scientifically. Because- isn't that obvious? Who really has to explain that? He's he's correct. We are different, right? But but, but <clears throat> I, I, what I don't understand is how does that apply to it the question not. that I asked so, when yeah, when so, I said so let me, let me you guys okay. So the reason why is because we have differing sexual strategies. Men want quantity, women want quality. So our sexual strategies are literally opposing each other. So men want to be able- okay. I can agree with that. It is very true majority if not all men do want quantity and a woman is looking for quality okay all right you got one point on the board so far Ugh, i cringe just to say that is that bad we get with as many girls as possible right unlimited sexuality shout out to our guy roll to we talk about this in detail versus women i say women want typically unlimited security from the best man that they can get versus men want to get the most women they can get so it's been that way since the beginning of time. Powerful and strong men have had hordes of women, and then women align themselves with the strongest men. So we don't play by the same set of rules, and our sexual strategies influences how we view the world, how we view the opposite gender, how we uh, try to uh, procreate with each other. We're very different. So what's what men can do, women can't necessarily do sometimes. So we're not the same. So, and it's just unfortunately so- a double standard that, that does not benefit women for once. Sorry, so just going back to that question that I asked, can a man be on Instagram yes. a, a, in a relationship? Yes. But not it's a not woman. It's it's not the same. Are you serious? What? <laughs> Is he serious? Is this for real? I fell asleep. Yo, this person, sir, Byron, Myron, you're psycho. <laughs> Depend on the content that well, they're putting out. Like, if I'm to. shirtless on Instagram, like showing me big fat man boobs and gyrating around a sexy dance, that would be cheap. What if I was just on there talking about, you know, fitness apps and stuff? That's a whole different vibe. So it's content related, right? Yeah, but the thing is, is that I don't think people understand this, that a man that's the, one of even a man that's extremely good looking is not going to get nearly the amount of options that a woman that's mediocre. And Are you that kidding? Is no, that is, that is yes. so not true. What makes him think that? That is so untrue. Not true. But, 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 Do you know how it? many hot guys get DM'd on Instagram? Oh, we're not talking about women? DMs. We're talking about real life no, benefits. No, like no, you're being not. You're served talking about... first at the shop and stuff no, like that. I'm yeah. talking about Instagram. You're saying a man can go on Instagram in a relationship and it not oh, be considered cheating. Card, so, okay, um, I'm going to get one of my guys to show you guys something. But, yes, I, a lot of women are unaware of this. But men, unless they're in the top... Two percent of looks and aesthetics and everything else like that, they get virtually no play in online dating sites, Instagram. Men don't get as much sexual attention as women think. The issue is that women see the world through their view. They think clearly this man is speaking from experience and only experience. Even unattractive men will get more attention than mediocre women because of things they may have. He may be overweight. He may just be ugly, just overall. Many women will gravitate to him more. 
he will have more correspondence just based off of the things he can provide. This dude is just solely talking about looks. Women view quality not just as looks. It's a part of it. It's not, it's not that important. Where are you getting your information from? The issue is that women see the world through their view. They think I get a lot of attention, so attractive guys must be getting a lot of attention too, and that couldn't be further from the truth. They men, look do like nearly, men do not get nearly the same amount of val uh, sexual attention. But they're as women still do. getting it, so I yeah, don't not, understand. Not, ma not as much as, uh, like, as you much. know, there's a lot not of sexy so girls online. Just because a girl might get, say, let's say, fifty DMs that are, have guys wanting to date her, when the guy gets twenty DMs, yes, there might be a little difference there, but they're still getting hit on by let's, females. Let's go back to the old nightclub uh, rules. No, let's no, go back no. to the nightclub. If you were at the nightclub, and the boys have talked about this on the Fresh and Fit podcast. Boys will line up and will stand there for ages. I'm going to show you something real quick. This man literally pulled up a graph. What is this graph? Hold on. I'm sorry. Number of messages received versus recipient's attractiveness. Is this even real? Who made this graph and why? Right here, we have uh, a chart from OkCupid. Okay this illustrates that even the most attractive men in the light blue are not even compete are barely competing against girls in the mid range. Average girls. It's not even like, half. It's not even half the level, right? This is not a valid source. Instagram is not a dating site. Although some people use it for dating purposes, which is just so weird and cringe to me, it's not a dating site. Are barely competing against girls in the mid range. Average girls. It's not even it's like, half. It's not even half the level, right? Not even half of the messages you, received. Yeah. Now, that's on a dating site. On Instagram, this is even more pronounced. Okay? Where's your next chart to prove that? Because right now, you're just saying words. Like, they mean nothing. Okay? And this doesn't account for, you know, the plenty of fish data, the Tinder data that we have. Men do not get nearly as many options as women. And even if we're talking about top tier guys, they still cannot compete. He may be right and the reason why a man is not going to have as many options as a woman when it comes to a dating site or a social media site is because women are not naturally the approachers we are the approached so of course you won't have as many people in your inbox because that's not a feminine trait I don't think I'm wrong. Men and women are not the same. We're not blank slate equals. Yeah, no, I it's know they're not the same. Hold on, let me finish, please. It's you're not, not making, same. you're not actually proving your point very well. That's my point. You're not proving anything. You're just saying words and, and showing a chart from a terrible source. What are you doing? You're like that person who talks louder to sound smarter, but you just sound even more stupid. I like this so far. Well, I literally my, have a chart on the screen proving that women get far more attention than men do on from the internet. from a dating site that says women get more attention. Yes, that's obvious. But the point you made was that women should not be allowed on Instagram if they're in a relationship because of the attention they get. And you're kind of saying that guys can. So question for you. If you're dating somebody, right, should you be on a mm. dating app? Not on a dating app, no. Okay, perfect. So do you know, right, Instagram is one of the biggest dating apps in the world. Yeah, I get that, but it's also... Instagram's intended purpose is not for dating. Here's an example. I have this chair right here. I used this chair as a ladder. I can't just call my chair a ladder now. You cannot just call Instagram a dating site just because you've used it as a dating site. See how that works? That doesn't, okay? In the world. Yeah, I get that. that, but it's also it's also an app where people like to share other things. It's not all just thirst traps, right? So yes. you know, every if if you're if you're in a relationship, not every girl is posting a picture of herself in a bikini. Here's a so, problem, though, aren't they? If, no. if if there's two scenarios here, right? A guy posts a picture of himself, let's say abs shirtless, right? He gets yeah. attention. Yeah. A girl posts a picture or a story or post, right? She gets attention. The problem is yeah. that like attention is way out skilled. And it's going to be sexual because off rip, what do guys want? They want to look at pictures and take a shot at the girl. That, that's it. Girls, man, oh, he's cute, he's handsome, but they're not, they're not going to really approach him like, oh, I want you. It's like, okay, cute, hard eyes, and that's it. Girls are, are going to go after it like in a different way, we're saying. And also we're specifying that 
when she has sexy photos of herself on the internet and she's in a relationship, that is cheating. That is disrespectful yeah, to the man. It's not okay, the same. What if the guy, I, I, what listen, if the listen, guy listen, is posting I, oh. a shirtless talk? <laughs> Really, nigga? Okay, that's not cheating. Physical contact, right? So, like, kissing, having sex. We'll take it even a step further. Emotional cheating. Conversations that are inappropriate that you could not have in front of your partner. All those things are cheating. But now, posting a photo on Instagram is cheating. What is this world coming to? He is dead serious. And he's in a relationship. Is that cheating? No, no. because it's not the same at all. Well, like it I is the before, same. Just no, because no, he doesn't know why, get as I know much why it's attention. different. I know why you know it's different, guys. This, Listen, this, as guys, we this. zoom in guys, on the girls' guys, photos. Guys. We zoom in. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but that's it, your guys, issue. Let me, let me let me break this down for y'all. Okay, so mm -hmm. let, let's 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 uh, uh, Jackie, let me let me ask you a question. What is your dream car? My dream car. Yes, your dream car. Oh, I'm not. She into can have cars. any car she wants. Yeah. Yeah, but what's the dream She's car? What do you? What do you? What do you want? I'm probably driving. I'm driving a Range Rover. I love it. So Rover. let's okay. just say I've so, already got it. So let's go. Let's go into a, a scenario here, okay? Let's go into a scenario. <laughs> but that's not us playing these scenarios. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> so we're going to go into a scenario here, all right? And just mm -hmm. let me finish. Let me finish this concept, guys. Let me let me get through it, okay? Okay. okay. So let's say you go to the uh, to the dealership and you buy a brand new Range Rover, okay? Mm -hmm. Range Rover Sport. You've been wanting it for a while. Fully decked out, hundred thousand dollars, right? Australian, hundred twenty dollars, hundred twenty thousand Australian, right? Three hundred here. We got the luxury car tax. You don't okay. know about three hundred k, three hundred k, right? So yep. you drive it off. You you know you you shake hands with the car dealer, sign the paperwork, pay the money, buy it cash. You're good to go. Drive it off the lot. You don't care about it losing value, or whatever. This is your dream car. Take it back to mm. your house. Two weeks later, okay, the uh the car dealer comes back to your place, says, hey, listen, man, we're kind of short on cars. Uh, we're going to need to put a for sale sign on your car. And a couple days a week, we're going to just need to put it on display back at the dealership. And, you know, one or two people might test drive it. Are you okay with that? How would that make you feel? How'd I know the you analogy you're trying to make. I own that yes, car. I don't own my partner in a relationship, though. Hold on. I don't Hold own on. them. Again, answer the question. You don't own us. Like she says, she owns the car. You do not own your girlfriend. You don't own your wife. Um, I don't own them. Again, answer the question. How would that make you feel? Well, obviously, I wouldn't be okay with that. Okay, thank you. That's exactly how men feel when their women post sexy photos of themselves on the internet and, to advertise and... to other men because women, men are territorial with their women. It's been that way since the beginning of time. You so, don't own okay. us in a finish. relationship we so we, we can finish. post what we That's want. Me. You have an insecurity with that. That's on you. She called him out because that is definitely just his insecurity. If your man met you and you posted stuff like that, why should you stop just because y'all together? He liked you because he saw you post that. A porn star? You could be an OnlyFans girl. You could be any of that. If the man meets you doing that, he can't just come in your life and try to make you change. Ew. That's controlling. Why won't you just like someone for who they are? If the individual wants to stop posting stuff like that out of respect for herself and her relationship, you let her do that. If she doesn't want to and you feel like it's disrespectful and you don't like it, you know what you can do. You can leave. You are like somebody's forcing you to stick around. If you can't stand it that much because you're so insecure because you think someone else is gonna come grab your chick up, you don't need to be in a relationship. Let me finish. You're, I'm, I'm finish letting you finish, but every time I let you're you finish- You're literally cutting me off right now. <laughs> like, I'm yeah, I know. Okay, yeah, go, go. Go. <laughs> go. <laughs> what are you so, laughing at? No, I'm laughing. This is a conversation everyone is just chiming in whenever he's just being an asshole. Because you're not letting me finish. So my point is this. I did. My, my point is simply this. Men, that's how men view relationships with women. They might not admit this, but men are territorial with their women. This is why women that are promiscuous have a very difficult time getting men to commit to them. Because men don't want to be with women that other men... That's not the case. Cardi B is married, and it's no shade, but we all know 
what she's done in her life. There's video evidence. Cardi B is married, okay? And somewhere out there, there's a 45 year old quote unquote good girl still single have been with or they don't want a girl that has high mileage that's why when you went to the dealership you paid full price for that vehicle brought it back home you don't know my mileage sir you can't just look at me and tell how many people i've had sex with you can't have sex with me and tell how many people i've had sex with you don't know that and then someone said hey i want to still be able to see it or whatever you had a point of contention with that why because you paid full price for the vehicle and you feel like you're getting used and abused when you put all the money down that's how men view relationships and marriage with women if i'm going to give you my last name you cannot go out there and embarrass me men and women are not the same when it comes and to relationships. can i just can i now say something Please, go women ahead. sometimes feel the same way. We could be in a relationship with a man who's gorgeous and he's posting shirtless tops on Instagram and we feel like, oh, that, you know, you're, that's a thirst trap, right? You're wanting attention. So why? This wouldn't be a conversation if you men didn't see those pictures online, like them, decide to get in a relationship and then you try to change her. Why not approach a person out somewhere else that's not on Instagram, right? And be with her. The first thing a man is attracted to is what he sees. He doesn't hear your voice. He doesn't, he can't see how educated you are, how creative you are, how nurturing you are. He can't see any of that. All he can see is what you look like. So that's why this ties back into the insecurity because he knows now other men can just see what you look like and he don't like that. He don't like that. Cause he like, oh, well, a better man might come along and snatch you up. Why is it different? I don't, you just think it's okay for a guy to do it, but not okay for a girl to do it because you're territorial. We can be territorial too, but it goes back oh, to my the point. worst thing is a but territorial my point woman. Is, is that you, you just don't own someone. Like your analogy about the car is mm -hmm. way off because that is something I've paid for and I own. In a relationship, I don't pay for it and I don't own the person. Here's the thing. You're 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 letting your feelings, right, get in the way of understanding I'm not, the basic. I'm not. Logic. I'm thinking basic rationally. Says, I'm can really I please, not. Can I please finish my point? I let you speak. I'm, you I'm, love I'm, saying I'm, that. I'm, you say that as a really, really a pass, passive aggressive He'd way of having a conversation. <laughs> not really, because I see what you're doing. I see right through it. But go ahead. I'm. So, here's the thing. This woman is being quite logical here. I'm explaining to you. How men view relationships. You might not like mm. it. It might hurt your feelings. You might say, I'm not a piece of property or whatever, but with all due respect, fuck your feelings. This is how men well, view fuck relationships. Your feelings. I don't yeah. care about your feelings either. Feelings. <laughs> Enemy spotted. Sir. You don't know this girl. Why are you talking to her like that? Fuck your feelings. Such powerful words. What is wrong with you? Why are you so unprofessional? You do not know these two people from a can of paint. How dare you do that? You, you're actually misogynistic and egotistical. And it's, it's a kind of a concern the way you view relationships. Like you have ownership of women. Yeah, that's kind of how it's coming across. When, what's, when what's, did we say we own women? Yeah, when did we say oh, that? It's like you if I'm going to give you my last name and I'm going to commit to you, then you're not allowed to have a for sale sign around your neck by being in a bikini. That that kind of behavior is like that scares me in a relationship. Well, remember, I would never want to be with a guy that is like that. A woman can I'm, do whatever she wants. She can do whatever she We're wants, just honestly. Saying, our standards are this. If you want to comply, you can, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. And and re remember, we're talking about a committed relationship with a man. So if you put pictures like that on the internet, th that's fine. You can do it. We never said you can't do it. You're putting words in our mouth. I'm simply mm. saying, if I'm going to commit to you, give you marriage, give you a title, give you a ring, give you children, I expect a certain type of woman. Why is it that when men have standards, she's giving you always all those things too. There's nothing wrong with you expecting anything. Why do you get with women whose values do not align with yours? And then you get upset because of that. When you date people, don't you ask them questions? Why don't you ask these sort of questions? Hey, you think it's okay to post sexy photos online? Yeah, I do. Okay, well, we can't date because I don't, goodbye. How is that hard? If men would do that, then you would not have these problems. Ask 
the questions you need answers to. If you do not align, agree, or like the answer that you receive, find a new girl. There are so many out here. For every man, it's at least two women in most states. Get the fuck out of here. It's okay to think the way you think. I don't think he's wrong for the way he thinks at all. I think you just need to find someone whose values align with yours. She's giving it's you all those things yeah. too. But exactly. No, no, no. I on. love it how it's She's just giving them you giving. women. We, no, no, no. You're no. giving it Let to finish. us. Let me finish. We should be so thankful. Let me finish. When a man <laughs> gives a... Because here's the thing. Women control sex. Men control relationships. So since I am the gatekeeper to relationships, you want to take my last name. Last time I checked, girls want to walk down an aisle in a white dress with their daughter, with their father leading them, correct? To a man. Women are the ones that want security in a marriage. So if I'm a man and I'm going to give you that, I need to vet you and make sure that you are a good... That's not always true. It is a lot of men out here who are looking for security in a marriage, honey. Believe it or not, unfortunately. But security could be seen as, you know, I don't know what security is talking about with financial security. What security? He's very vague. And he uses like these key words to invoke emotion and to like kind of almost make it make sense. Almost does it, but it almost does. It's like he's teeter tottering on that line. It to be my wife. Oh my God, my I want to so, vomit I, listening to what you're finish? saying. <laughs> First finish? of all, you are, do you live in the 1960s? Women are making their own money these days, my friend. I am the one that supports the man in a relationship. I don't need security from a man. Okay, just, that might be you. But most of them are men. That's a lot of women. No, actually, no. Shit, I'm jumping in on Jackie's side Actually, no. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Here's, here's Palestine. She's wild. She's from Palestine. Don't <laughs> muck with her. You're Molotov. Just so you know, I post bikini shots on my Instagram and I'm engaged and my partner is totally secure with that. You guys are full of shit. You're a bit of a thirsty bitch, though, right? On the, when you're doing, who who do you want attention from you're when you're doing this? Oh, I'm not. We can do it, guys. We can, can do, do it when we want. We're we still gonna get proposed to, dickhead. I guarantee oh, well, you. There's no I need to be nasty. Girls. Yeah, no, he's he's not happy. I I'm guarantee not being you. Nasty. Yeah. I'm just. I'm literally like. I just think your views are really antiquated. Here's the thing. Again, like I said. This is how men view relationships. This is how men generally not feel all men. when they're in no relationships with women. Not all men. Well, you're gay, Brooklyn. Well, you stick to guys, your own men lane. Don't. Men don't. Guys, Kyle, guys. you can don't. I, I speak my up, point? Kyle. It's can like I, I you're... my you... point here? Like, you guys... I'm not allowed, I don't think... Uh, we're never allowed to talk in this interview, it feels. Because so. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> like, here's the thing. You guys asked us to come on your show. Here's we're the answering the questions, and you guys are not letting us answer the questions. You're just cutting us off and shaming us or whatever. This dude is talking the entire time like 95 percent of this 13.24 seconds we've been through he's been talking that i don't even know what these guys think over here i don't know what this lady jackie thinks i don't know what this guy thinks all i know is what the fresh and fit podcast thinks right now please stop he's annoying whatever i definitely I'm let you answer you. I'm simply telling you how men feel about giving their commitment away to women. You don't like the answer, but I'm telling you how men generally think. It's just that they can't say this because look at how you guys responded to what I told you. Shame, guilt, insults, trying to attack our masculinity, whatever it may be. Men can't be honest with women no. because you guys can't accept the truth. It's and is he in a different room? Is he there right now? <laughs> Did he pop an edible before he walked in? He is so delusional. Debate, it's it's your saying, opinion. It's my opinion. To you're, saying, you're saying you don't like care. Like, oh, I could provide my own money, my own security. Congratulations. That's great. But regardless, when women make a certain amount of money, they still want a man that makes more money than they do. Typically around 26% more. So, or no, 52% more. So you can Where say that. Where are you getting that? those stats from? I, can I, I don't take here in the United States. Women well, typically want Please, I don't want another least, child on the screen. They want, so. they want at least 26 or 52%. <laughs> more income than they do. Women date up. This has been known since the beginning of time. Women do not only date their equals, if not preferably higher. So if a man is expected to come in, right, bring security, make more money, etc. It's been like this since the beginning of time. Even when women couldn't choose their husbands, we were forced to date up. You were not allowed to marry someone's daughter if you could not bring something of value to their family. 
Y'all don't remember the stories of the stuff you learned in school? I think it was like a dowry or something. Or like the man used to have to bring something, a horse, a, some cattle, a lamb, money. And then like he would always have to help support her family and support her. It's been that way since marriage was even a thing. Before marriage was not even like based off love. It was based off business. It's based off, okay, this man over here has his own farm. He can raise his own food and he can sell it to others. He generates revenue. He, he likes you. Yeah, this man might be 17 years older than you, but you're gonna marry him whether you like him or not. That's how life used to go. That's how marriage used to work. Why can't he have requirements? Why is it that a woman can say, I want a guy that makes this much money, this tall, this good looking, this charming, this confident, and a man says something simple, like I don't like to date women that put sexy photos of themselves on the internet. Then don't date them. Who is making you date these type of people? You're choosing them. You cannot force a grown woman who has spent the majority of her whole adulthood living the way she wants to, to conform to what you want just because that's what you wanted to do. It's plenty of women out here who think like you. Find them. Find like-minded women, date them, and marry them. Don't go find someone like any of these Instagram models, influencers, celebrities, whatever. That's what they do for a living. That's what they're known for. And then you want them to just stop all that just because you walked in the room? Who the fuck are you? Who are you? For other men to see when she's supposed to be my woman, why is that met with such contempt from women? Tell me that. Well, he Men should take his, his Instagram is, down too. That's my whole point is, is your double isn't it, standards. You've isn't got it double a jealousy? Standards. I think it's a jealousy issue because like I've yep. dated women that were online and had big Instagram followers and models, singers, all this. I've never thought, like, I've never thought, oh, like even my friends though, you're not wrong. My friends have said, bro, your missus is doing this online or whatever. This is over the years. And like, I couldn't care because I'm, I'm, I'm solid. And in myself. Maybe yourself. I'm a fool. Maybe I'm a fool. Maybe not. I don't this man is not a fool. This man is very secure within himself. Just because other men hit on his girl, that doesn't make him feel any less of a man. That's, that's real right there. Most men cannot say that. Most men feel threatened if a man even looks in their girlfriend's direction. Even breathe. Let a man even open the door. Right? For his girlfriend. Why you let him open the door for you? Why why you let him look at you? Why you let him talk to you like that? The fuck? <sighs> Guys, really out of control. This is getting out of hand. I don't know, but uh, I, I do agree with Jackie that uh, your partner shouldn't be, it's not like a pet. You don't own them. You can't control them. But I know what you're saying. You're not wrong what you guys are saying as a generalization but i think some men some women they think differently but yeah Here's i do the thing. think when you're younger in your 20s you are jealous men are crazy and we're not we don't get our head together until we're in our late 30s we have some calls because if you if you just tuned in obviously we're talking about a viewpoint that you guys have which is if you're in a relationship a girl should not have an instagram account because technically that's cheating because of the amount of tension she gets from well, from it's guys. not just the account i think it's the account where you're gyrating around in your undies or less and no, no, blowing think, kisses and all this I, stuff. I'm pretty sure I asked, can you can you just have an Instagram account? No, and, we, and not, we, we, clearly, we clearly established that it's sexy photos when you're in a committed relationship that's disrespectful. But the thing is, is you're saying a guy can post sexy photos. I just thought about something. A sexy photo depends on who's looking at it, right? Like... You could look at a girl in a tank top and jeans and think that's a sexy photo. You could look at a lady in a bikini and think that is sexy. Anything anyone is doing can be deemed sexy if the viewer thinks the person is sexy. This is the most stupid argument I've heard, but like I said, it's quite entertaining, so I'm here for it. And he can do that in a relationship. Yes, yes. men and women are not the same. Right. So, but you said that men love qu quantity over quality, right? So yeah, you, that is true. you'll react differently when a female pays you attention to what a, a, a female would. In oh, the any, any attention from any female ever is just, uh, we think, oh yeah, they want to bang us. That's what we think. Yeah.
And so you, I believe that you guys are more likely to act on it because like you said, it's quality over quantity. That's correct. Yeah. Wait, I think that, wait, I think you from a male that. perspective or a female perspective? So from your perspective, you say yeah. the males want quantity over quality. Yes. Mm-hmm. So if you're getting attention on Instagram. Yeah, you're more likely to message them back. You're more likely exactly to act on it. Okay. But the thing is, is that women rarely message men. Like I, like I showed you guys before. That's why that yeah, it's half, it. only half. Well, well that's why According I showed you According to your guys. data. Yeah, they're still, I, you're still getting messaged. So let's say thing, I'm guys, getting messaged guys, by... Can you just make one point? Can you just let if me you're finish ask for a, a question, you should let me finish. I, <laughs> I just want to make one point. So if I'm on Instagram and I'm getting 40 DMs and you're getting 20 DMs, my point is, is that you guys are more likely to respond to the 20 DMs than we are to the 40 DMs. Here's the thing. Men and women are not the same. Women, w- women, the... Yeah, women men are more likely... How many times is he going to keep saying that? We know men and women are not the same. We have different chromosomes. Obviously, we are not the same. He said this at least 30 times. It's getting old. Attention. They want women like attention. Men want sex. That's 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 how it is. So when a girl's out there advertising herself, it's not the same as when a man is advertising himself because a man's not going to get nearly the same amount of attention. And then on top of that, man- even if he doesn't get the same amount of attention, you're still going to take more opportunities. If I get 20 DMs and this dude over here gets 10 DMs, he's gonna respond to all 10. I might not respond to any of them because there's no quality in any of the 20 people that I saw. His argument is so flawed. It makes no sense. The way that you're talking, did you do an outline on what you were gonna say before you started? Because it's giving me very much, I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm winging it, hopefully this goes right vibes. Men of status, men that are attractive, that uh, have uh, money, hey, it's just exercising options. Men are going to go ahead and enact on those options if they have the ability to do so. So my thing is, a man is capable of having sex with other women while still loving his girl the same. So it's not that big a deal, but it is a big Wait, deal so, if your girl's so, out here and are fielding options. If your woman's out here fielding options, bingo. that's an issue. Bingo. Oh, sorry. So issue. you're actually saying that in a relationship, it's okay for men to go and explore other options, but we have to be happy with you and not explore options. Absolutely. Close on your end, open on my end, and I think this should be honest between Why? the two. Now, <laughs> Why? Why would anyone agree to that? <laughs> you, you yeah. Who would ever be okay being in a committed relationship with someone and knowing that they're like, I'm the only one committed. Like we're supposed to be committed to each other, but really I'm committed to you and you're committed to you. Who's gonna say, okay, this sounds great. Let's just do it. Who's gonna say that? Close on your end, open on my end. And I think this should be honest between Why? the two. Now, oh my, why? Oh my, why would crazy. anyone agree to that? You, you yeah. can't just go sl- throwing that thing around and women sit at home waiting for you to come home. Go to oh. smell the juice of another Here, woman on you. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Can all men get away with this? Absolutely not. A small minority of men can. But the reality is, is if you're saying get away with this, you know it's wrong. I might be able to get away with stealing a shirt from Macy's because I'm good at boosting and others are not. Like. I know that's wrong. That's why I'm trying to get away with something because I know that it's wrong. You, sir, have just shown your hand. You think that you can get away with it because you have probably got some money. Money is not going to get you where you think it will. Now you may be able to go pull a chick from overseas um, that will use you for a few years for a green card, but as soon as she gets that, she will dip the fuck off on you and take half of everything you own. But even eh, that's a whole nother story. But is the beginning of time, strong, powerful men, right, that had money and status were always able to have hordes of women. Look at Hugh Hefner, look at Dan Blazarian, look at kings, look at sultans of past with Hugh Hefner? What is it that man like? He's a P O Ow. Y'all know what I'm saying? That man was having sex with underage girls, multiple women, and prostituting them out. He basically has a sex ring. Terrible example, sir. All of your forms 
of proof and evidence and and facts and statistics and just all this bullshit you're trying to throw in front of people to just make them agree with you you should have done more research or past what that's this is what women do women are attracted to men that have listen, women, mate, bro, i yeah, spoke i spoke to, to dan i spoke to dan i spoke to dan balsarian yeah, I'm sick of you asking to finish your long, boring we we answers that are the same answer every time we ask you a question. Even Dan Balsarian last well, week come on, told me still. to my face, yeah, so fucking what, clown? Here you are on the show. I can Ooh, turn you off as well. You're Just triggered. turn these clowns off. See you, fellas. It's Grow triggered. up. Ring us back when you're 30 and you've got a half a brain. You're not running around being led by your own dicks. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later. Very turn them off. Very professional. There you go. Very professional. Y'all go and try to date women who are Instagram models, who are OnlyFans models, who are just social media influencers, period. You see that they get paid for posting content. They've been doing this to sustain their life and maintain themselves. You like how they look. You try to change them and you get mad because they won't change their entire life just to get with you when you, who are you? You're just another guy. You can't do that to people. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Drop down in the comments section and let me know what you think about what we just watched because I think that it was, it was entertaining but the subject matter was absolute garbage. There was no value. He, the, the guy, Myron or Byron, it was very passive aggressive. I did not enjoy, I just, I'm not going to subscribe to that. Please like this video, please. I'm begging you, I am begging you. I would put both my hands up, but my other hand is asleep. I think I can do it. I'm begging you, like, comment, subscribe, please. I'll see y'all.